talk about what it takes to be a college tennis player, be it male or female, because Jeremy coaches both male and female tennis players at Prairie View and um, Hopefully the weather will cooperate, looks like it's not going to rain on us. And if you have any questions regarding the facilities here, please let me know. I have a summer program for kids from ages 5 through 18 in the mornings as well as in the afternoon, depending on your skill level. So once again, welcome. to invest in you 
with your skill set as a tennis player, male or female? And what kind of grades do you have? That's the key for me. Now, some coaches are different. Um, I know the coach over at University of Idaho. He's on tennisrecruiting.net. He did an interview, Jeff Beeman. I, I challenge all you all to go look at it, read it. They asked him, what is he looking for? He's looking for top tennis players. But he also wants a good, a good uh, uh, student. So, you got to put in the work. you got to make this thing work. you got to get better. You come out and you play social tennis, that's not what the college coach is looking for. So, to market you. Now, I'll take maybe not a superstar student, because I can take somebody that has the basics and make them better. And I'm going to tell you all this. Division three, division two, division one. It's intense. Everybody's good, top to bottom, most teams. And they're going to try and eat you up. They're coming after you. It's competitive. So, I'm going to say this. If you don't like to compete, <coughs> college tennis is going to be rough. It's like a job. Getting up in the morning, practicing. Some schools, you're up <coughs> at 6 in the morning running, weight training. Most of your day is class and tennis. And you aren't going to have much time for else, anything else. So you've got to be very clear about going in what you want. And when you go and take visits to schools, and everybody here, you get five visits. So if a school is interested in you, and they want to bring you in or fly you down, you get five of those. They're called official visits. You get as many unofficial as you want. What's the difference? Unofficial. You pay for it. Your parents drive to UT, you look at the campus. Now, UT, I'll give you an example. Both the men and the women, they're looking for top 50 in the nation. Top 50. Not Texas, not region. Top 50 in the nation. They want an experienced player. They're top 5, top 10 every year in the ITA ranking. So the tougher the school, the more competitive you have to be. And there's nothing wrong with a little less competitive school. So you can balance school and tennis. Now, here's the deal. The piece that people don't talk about. When you go to school, everybody here. Let me, let me ask. Everybody here going to college? Let me see the hand. Everybody's going to college. All right. So if you're going, you're going to have a roommate. And there's no way around it. Your roommate might be someone you've never met. And for the lady, I'm going to give you the reality. She may use your brush. She may use your shampoo, she may use all your stuff. Not gonna be from where you're from, maybe not the same culture. You're sharing a room. You don't know this person. You're gonna have to balance that. Getting used to a new environment, being away from home, doing everything yourself. Washing clothes, ironing, getting up, eating breakfast, balancing that schedule. Now, a lot of you all are already doing that. That's what it is. I'm not trying to scare you, but that's the reality. If you don't believe me, ask your parents, ask your cousins, ask some of your family who are in college what that whole thing is like. Now, I can tell you this. After the first semester, you're a veteran. You got it down. It's an easy deal. You'll come home for Christmas, and you'll be ready to go back to school because you've got a new set of friends, you're on your own schedule, and you're your own person as an adult. It's a lot to handle, and it can be stressful. So now if you add tennis into that mix, trying to deal with a roommate, trying to get used to professors, them not being fair all the time, you get a small piece of that in high school. You're going to get it real big in college, and they don't care what you think. Hey, you just take my class again. What do you mean? I'm doing well. They don't care. It's not like high school where the teacher can get moved out. It takes an act of Congress move a college professor out. So you're trying to balance that. You've had great grades all through high school, and then you become sort of a face in the crowd in college. And then you're trying to find your place on the team. So you've got to go in being confident with who you are and what you can do. Here's the biggest thing for you all going to school. Ask a lot of questions. So coach, where do you think I might play if I come here, if you see me working with your team. Where do you think I play? They'll usually give you, if the coaches work their salt, they'll give you an honest answer. 
So you want to ask questions. How much money do you think you have to devote to players lower in the lineup? Where do you see me playing in the lineup? They'll tell you, but it's going to come down to how much work you put in, not at practice, after practice, before practice, during the summer. And then here's my last question for you, and I'll open up for some questions. How good do you want to be? And how badly do you want to play college tennis? Because if I give you scholarship money, or a coach gives you scholarship money, I'm expecting a lot in return. I'm expecting you not just to compete, but to win. We've got two championship rings, two conference, two conference championships. First year we played Baylor in the first round. They were number one in the nation and undefeated in 04 and 05. Undefeated in the nation. Three of their guys went pro. Last year we played Texas A&M in the first round. So, some people never get to a conference championship. You make friends for a lifetime. You have a bunch of fun, you travel on the road. It's a little bit more intensive than, than high school tennis, but very similar. It's just more is expected. You all are having a lot of fun now. College tennis is fun, but it's only fun if you enjoy competing. Okay? The ante goes up. So I hope I've given you all a little bit of an idea of what to kind of expect, what to think about. You're going to have to balance school, school work. You're going to probably, if you want an A in a class, you're going to have to put in two hours, two hours at least every other night. Two hours per subject to rock the A. Now, some of you all are naturally smart and naturally gifted. The first year is going to be easy for you because at most schools, you're going to take what we call core, English, algebra, your basics. After that first year, you're going to slowly move into the major. If you're a business major, micro, macro, financial accounting, managerial accounting, it's going to kick you in the butt. It's going to test you and challenge you. You're going to have to get in study groups. You're going to have to find people who are smarter than you and get with them and study. You've got to balance all of that. Because with the college degree comes your career where you're going to get paid. So what you put in is what you will reap, what you'll get out. Any questions? Wow, you guys got it down there. <coughs> all right, well, I hope you all have fun competing. Appreciate you letting me share. You all take care and have a great morning.